uh, with uh, two, re uh, two residents, but first of all with our executive director, um, Chandra, oh, Chandra Kumar. I, oh, suddenly your name slipped me. And then <laughs> next to Chandra, we have um, Peggy Patterson. Yes. And next to you and me, we have Barbara Hawkins. That's right. And they're here today, honestly, they have they have a, a plethora of information for us today. So I'm going to start. Why don't we start with you, Chandra? Do you want to introduce what this topic is all about? Well, or did actually, you I, have your own? I, I have some of my own topics, but I know that the, you know, they're going to be talking about some important um, kind of upcoming, an upcoming event, but some other topics. Okay. But I just wanted to inform the um, residents here in independent living that uh, Michael Worley, who has been our assistant administrator in Garden Ridge, he and I actually started the same day uh -huh. uh, back in April, so it's almost a year to date, has received a promotion and he will be moving to Ashby Ponds, which is our sister community in um, and um, near Lansdowne, right. you know, towards Ashburn. Leesburg in Ashburn, yes, in Ashburn. And uh, I know you know, it's hard because you don't want to let, you know, your some of your best employees move on, but we also want to be happy for him yeah. because he's really been a wonderful asset here and we wish him all of the best and um, I know he's going to be a great administrator there. Mm -hmm. So it's nice that we still got to keep him in Virginia though. So oh, without it, I guess that's good. <laughs> yes, it is. And we will be looking to fill that position. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, that's part of it. When you're an assistant administrator and you're really good at what you do, we want to be able to offer those opportunities well, of sure. growth. It, it um, becomes and it, sort of a stepping stone. Yes, you know, absolutely. But, yeah. And in addition to that, we have a new human resources manager, uh, Makita Miller, who will be starting on May the 15th. All right. So that's another executive position that we will you be... You mean for, for the whole place? For not the whole just place, for, for the staff. Okay. Yes, for the staff. Right. And since I'm here, I'm just, just you know, sure. telling you a little bit Covering about... You know who's coming on board, and you know we're we're coming pretty close to being able to um, share some information in in the coming future about our medical director position and our practice oh, administrator. So hopefully we'll be able to share some good news good. soon. Oh, that's um, terrific. But I'll I'll hold that till I get everything <laughs> finalized. All right. So that's kind of uh, that's kind of just basically what I wanted to talk about. Okay. But, uh, I'll I will stick around if there's any questions. Uh, Chandra, can you tell us about the very successful inspection Garden Ridge just oh, underwent? Oh, yes. Okay. So Garden Ridge had its annual um, annual survey, which is a surprise visit by the uh, State of Virginia Health Department. Mm -hmm. This is done to stay in compliance with federal guidelines. And we're happy to say that we had seven surveyors come in and they were here only a day and a half. And I've been doing this for over 20 years. This is the shortest survey I've ever had. Um, very, very good results. We had three minor deficiencies, and as you can understand, if it's a 24-hour operation, seven days a week, and how many residents we take care of, the three minor things, nothing that was of any harm to any of the residents, but really excited that they came in, you know, did what they needed to do, and it is a very, very precise process that they go through. I mean, they look at everything, even to the point that one of the staff they wanted to make sure when she took a pulse that they checked to see that she had the second, you know how you have the little seconds that go around your clock, that in her watch that it really was working. So that's how precise they are. Wow. <laughs> um, you know, and, and, the, and the team did a phenomenal job. They did a really great job. Last year we had six, this year we had three, and we're gonna continue to, to work on that and uh, work on the experience for our residents. And I know uh, both uh, Barbara and Peggy have been instrumental in that, so I appreciate that. Thank you. That's good. Okay, so let's switch over now. Which of you ladies, first of all, your interest in all of this is because you have, what is your role, I guess I want to say. Let's tell the audience what the role is. Oh, I'm chairman of the uh, Medical Center slash Garden Ridge Committee of the Resident Council of here for okay. uh, Green Spring. Peggy uh, is on the council and is my liaison. I'm the liaison for the committee. Oh, okay. The You're the committee. Okay, I yes. got it. Okay, I got so it. So we work together and hopefully get quite a bit accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> we do enjoy working together. That's for well, sure. Well, I've never um, uh, hosted you all before, so no. you have to, you know, bear with me. You presented me with a large. <laughs> The list that you said you're going to spend how many minutes on each one? <laughs> Two minutes. Two minutes. <laughs> All right, who's going to talk, talk first? 
Go ahead. I'll go first. Uh, for the folks at home or in their apartments, grab your calendar because we do have a lot of dates we do want to recognize. One mm -hmm. thing that Garden Ridge is going to host here uh, Saturday is a tea for retired registered nurses, or nurses I should say. Uh, it's going to be at 2 p.m. over in Garden Ridge, but you must RSVP and today is the very last day. Marion Clayton is who you call. She is the uh, Administrative Secretary in uh, Administration at Garden Ridge. Her telephone number is 604-4838. Last day to respond. Ah, there we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's great that that's up there. And then the next thing we'd like to talk about is the Medical Center and all the changes that are happening there. And we're eager for Chandra to come back and tell us about a new medical director mm -hmm. and a new practice administrator. But our current practice administrator is doing a fantastic job and they are really working hard right now with the implementation of the new electronic medical record. Mm -hmm. And our message to the folks here is patience. P-A-T-I-E-N-C-E. <laughs> While the staff and the physicians adapt to this uh, new, new program. Sure. Anytime new software is introduced, it's very difficult. Yeah. Peggy, tell them about our new comment cards. Well, we, we had a, a yellow comment card, which many of you probably have seen in the medical center. Uh -huh. yes. Well, that is no longer. We have developed a new comment card and they are throughout the medical center. Now you're going to hold it up still, aren't you? So I the will. cameraman can get it. Yeah, whichever cameraman. <laughs> whichever way. Has there it goes. Zeroing in on that. And um, we find that this is a lot more informational mm -hmm. for not only our committee, but also for Chandra or uh, any of the administrative folks to know what the needs are and. Mm -hmm. and how well things right. are progressing in the medical center. We now have um, at each community one of the mail slots by the um, cubbies and the mailboxes mm -hmm. and it's labeled for um, the comment cards right. and then we pick them up and review them just like the other departments do okay. and um, once we've reviewed them we pass them on to um, Chandra or Brian or the medical center mm, good. Um, or good. you know so they know how things are going as well so you can take this home with you and um, fill it out and then bring it back mm -hmm. you don't have to stand right there we found that a lot of people felt intimidated to do it uh, the yellow cards right in the medical center mm -hmm. so this is something you can take home and thing, yeah. and put in progress later. We hope so. Yeah. And we really want to hear both the good comments and the sure. what we can do to improve service down there. I'll give you one so. right now. The front desk, the front mm -hmm. people are just wonderful. Great. They that, really you. But you know what? Great. They need to hear that. Mm -hmm. Thank and uh, usually the practice administrator will read the positive yeah. comments mm -hmm. to the staff during their staff meetings. Let's move on and talk about something that's really near and dear to our heart, and that's a new program that we're sponsoring that we're launching on May 30th. Put that on your calendar. It's a File of Life program, and this is the File of Life packet. I don't know which camera's going after that one. <laughs> The program here in Green Spring is being sponsored by the Security Department and the uh, Medical Center Garden Ridge Committee and the Subcommittee of General Services, the Security Subcommittee of General Services. Our program is scheduled and it's on your screen right now for May 30th uh, at Hunter's Crossing Conference Center and the presentation is going to be done by Fairfax County Fire and Rescue Education Department. They are going to provide us with the file of life uh, packets, which we will be distributing at the conclusion of the presentation, because the presentation explains the whole thing for all of you to understand. Well, just what is the file of life? That thing has a magnet on it. We put it on our refrigerator. It has a form in there that we complete and it's of tremendous value to the EMS personnel and the emergency department personnel. I worked in a trauma center for years and I don't want a bag of pills brought into me and I don't want uh, a long rambling history. I want it 
short and concise and co correct. I want to know if you have an advanced directive. I want to know who your next to kin is. I want to know how to research them, and it's all going to be in that file of life. Mm -hmm. And that's a little bitty packet with a tremendous amount of information, and we're going to teach you how to complete it and what we're to do with it. And I think everyone here with our age and our histories of uh, various medical conditions never knows when we're going to take one of those exciting rides in the ambulance. I so, hope you're planning on other than one session on this. We're planning you know, on... This is going to be very well attended, I can guarantee you. We certainly hope so. We're, we're going to be at Hunter's Crossing Conference Center. We asked them to bring us a thousand of these things. <laughs> Uh, that kind of blew them away a little bit, but they uh, understand how large Green Spring sure. is. Many apartments have two occupants, so therefore you need two of these. And uh, they are willing to come back quarterly. Okay. And we really want to do that. And well, can the committee um, describe to residents, once that person is gone then from the county, can if I get one of these and I didn't get there, can I literally? Get you we to are help going to be training people, yes. Okay. And the other thing we're offering is for those of you in your apartments who have uh, visual problems or tremors and can't write on this tiny little form. And by the way, the form needs to be completed in pencil so it can be updated regularly. We will have a group of trained people who will make an appointment with you to meet you either in your apartment or in a common space to complete the form for you. We will give you a handout at the seminar about what you need to have available so that we can transcribe mm -hmm. the information appropriately and what have you. This is a great program. We're very, it's nationwide. It isn't just in Fairfax uh -huh. County. Mm -hmm. Chandra's had experience with it at Riderwood. Mm -hmm. So we really do want to get this program launched here and the security fellows are just, men and women are so eager for us to have this. It'll make their jobs so much easier. They won't have to look through apartments for important information. There has recently been an article in the Villager Please go back to it or the Village Bridge to see it again. Um, we hope to uh, have a flyer. This will be our flyer, and hopefully on the back of this will be the, the latest article that was in the Villager. Mm -hmm. All that needs approval by Chandra, by the way. She doesn't okay. probably know that yet. Yeah. It's been approved. It's been approved? Oh, good. I'm glad I could say that. So we have, we have just a little bit of time for you to re get to that last item. The blood drive is coming up on May 31st. It'll be in Hunter's Crossing Conference Center. Age does not matter. Tell them about the signups. Well, <laughs> we will be um, in front of the dining rooms to sign uh, individuals to uh, donate blood. May 16th, that's a Tuesday, will be at Jefferson. Wednesday, May 17th, will be at Fireside, and Thursday the 18th will be at Woodland Skies, just out in front of the dining room so that we can sign okay. you up to give blood. All right. Now, did we forget something, Chandra? Oh, no, oh yeah, we got a lot of other things. <laughs> How much time do we have left? <laughs> About 10 seconds. 10 seconds. <laughs> the seminars for transitioning to Garden Ridge are fantastic. Be sure you watch yeah. for the next one. The next one's in October. You'll get reminders, but do come and do bring your family. Okay. That? that was good. Listen. Thank it, you so much. It, I told you 13 minutes is hardly <laughs> enough time. I you agree You cover with you. a lot of things. <laughs> thank you very much, uh, uh, Barbara, Peggy, <laughs> and Chandra. Thank, thank you. you for thank coming. Thank you for having us. And uh, we will hopefully see you again on here, telling about the success of all this.